Hello, this is Kerry, the Crazy Coffee Guy. Today we're going to talk about the will to win. Okay, I'm going to use references from the book by Bob Richards, The Heart of a Champion. The reason why I'm going to tell these stories in different videos is this book has hundreds and hundreds of stories of athletes who overcame incredible obstacles to win and how they did it. Bob Richards is one of my heroes. In the 70s, he was on the Wheaties box. And when I eat my Wheaties in the morning, I was always thinking about Bob Richards. There was something about the way he looked, I guess, in his, in his eye. I can't explain it. Anyhow, I got to talk to Bob. He also made it to the top of the Amway structure when I was in Amway in the early 80s. Anyhow, Bob Richards was a two-time Olympic gold medalist in pole vaulting. But he spent a lot of his years with athletes, and he just was intrigued by the will to win. So the stories come from the book, Heart of a Champion, by Bob Richards. The reason why I'm telling this, though, is because I called Bob in 1980 or 81. I said, hey, Bob, uh, this is Kerry up here in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, you don't know me. Uh, you're one of my heroes. I'd like to get your book. He says, you know, Kerry, he was down in Texas where he lives. He goes, you know, Kerry... Uh, I'm glad that you admire me, but um, anyhow, how can I help you, Carrie? And I go, well, I just want your book. And he goes, well, I, you know, I didn't take, take the proper time to promote it. I wrote that book and published it in 1959. But um, he says, I've always been so busy, I just never really, it's a wonderful book, Carrie. All those stories are true in there, Carrie. Anyhow, he says, oh, you know what? My sister lives in Seattle. Get a hold of her, give her a name, address, number, boom, boom. Anyhow, I got the book. The first story. The Roger Bannister story. Roger Bannister, as many of you know, was the first man to break the four-minute mile. Roger Bannister, for about two months, was training. In his mind, he could visualize winning that four-minute mile, or breaking that four-minute mile. At that time, nobody had done it. There was actually a book written by a scientist over in Germany that says the body would collapse. It would explode before it could run that fast. Anyhow... No, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people have done it, but Roger Bannister the first. Anyhow, so Roger Bannister is going to medical school where he's training, or he's studying 8, 9, 10, 12 hours a day, and he's training about 4 hours a day. Anyhow, after about 2 months, he just says, you know what, I'm going to spend all my time in studying. But just coach, his coach, you know, I don't really think I'd break that 4 minute mile. I just want to kind of give up the running deal, and here's the deal, coach. Um, I'm going to spend all my time studying to, you know, to be a medical doctor. Anyhow, so as coach goes, Roger, I see different. I see that you can break that four-minute mile. So that night as Roger's doing his, all his studying and that, he just keep visualizing it. Roger Bannister, three minutes, 59 seconds, breaks the four-minute mile. And he gets a picture in his mind. He gets real serious. The next five months he trains four hours a day. 8, 9, 10, 12 hours on his, on his homework and his study, he starts eating different. He gets real serious. He pictures his mind all the time. 3 minutes, 59 seconds, Roger Bester. The day of the race. It rained 5 hours the night before. The track was wet. For you runners, when the track's wet, you and I know that means it tires you. He's running with two of his good buddies, though. So the day of the race, is, it's, 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 the wind's blowing on him, crisp, just that feeling, like I'm not sure. Anyhow, his two friends, Chris Chataway, Chris Brasher. I want to get their names right because they believed in him. He goes to him, Chris, Chris, today, shake their hands, I'm going to break the four-minute mile. They both go, you know, Roger, we'll set the pace. We're with you, buddy. You can do it. Both of them said that. Them are friends. Don't have too many of them in this world. Anyhow, they start the race. Brasher takes the lead. You know, they're down, the guns goes off. Brasher takes the lead. After one lap, 57.5 seconds, right on. The second lap, one minute, 58 seconds, point two, right on. Going into the third lap, uh, Chris Chataway takes the lead. Roger's right on him. Just keeping the pace right with him. Okay, all of a sudden, that track's tiring him. Even with all that training, his lungs start to burn. His arms, his legs get heavy. His head's just throbbing. Probably the hardest mile. <sighs> He's 
running. Okay? Reality is starting to yell at him. You can't do it, man. Medically, you can't do that. If you're tired, just slow down, man. Just take it easy. Just slow down, man. Just take it easy. Slow down, man. You can't do it. Track sweat. You're tired. It's the fourth lap. Roger takes the lead. Body hits the wall. Lungs are on fire. Legs are noodles. Arms are tired. Reality talking to him again. Take it easy. You can't do it. You can't do it. Gets a picture in his mind. Three minutes, 59 seconds. Roger Bannister breaks it. He goes around the corner. He sees the finish line. Reality hits him. You're a million miles away. You're a million miles away. You can't do it. That crystal clear vision comes back. Three minutes, 59 seconds. Roger Bannister breaks the four minute mile. He raises his knees. He raises his knees. His arms are flowing. He's breathing just right. Three minutes, 59 seconds. Roger Bannister breaks a four minute mile. Roger Bannister breaks a four minute mile. He collapses in his coach's arms. You can do it, man. Okay? Crystallize it, baby. It's hard to do. <laughs> a lot of force against you. About all of them. Reality. <laughs> he was also a Christian man. The Lord helped him. He believes. I believe. That's up to you. Anyhow, I don't know why I threw that in, but you can do it. Hey, check out my web on um, my blog, crazycoffeeguy.com. CrazyCoffeeGuy.com. That's our blog. I also have a list of all sorts of other videos. I'm going to put a lot of videos from Bob's book here. Um, because I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure you get a hold of that book. But the reality is, it's packed with incredible stories. People that got in car rashes, their bodies crushed, came back for huge victories. People born with polio, couldn't even move their legs and arms. Anyhow, love you, gotta go.